The Liquid Muse and my co-host today, Natalie Bovis, has brought along a friend, and it is Bill York, owner of Santa Fe's Bitter and Bitters, which adds zest to your favorite cocktail. Hi, Bill. Hi, Nikki. Thanks for being with us today. Sure, my pleasure. This is exciting. So, you know, let's first start by telling everybody what are the bitters? What are they? Bitters are flavor infusions. They are a lot of spices and herbs, and in the case of my bitters, a lot of chili. Ooh. That's one thing I love about Bill's line of bitters is that he has a real culinary focus mm. and a lot of spice. So I think that's what makes Bitter End really unique. And very apropos for where we are, of course. Absolutely. I mean, what do bitters really do for a cocktail, though? I mean, what do they do for it? Well, bitters are sort of that secret ingredient that a bartender can use to bring all the different flavors of the primary and mixers together. Mm -hmm. It sort of creates that sort of unique flavor that's sort of hard to detect on your own. I once heard bitters described as salt to a soup. So in other words, if you're making a oh, soup like and there's no salt, it's maybe not as quite, quite as flavorful, uh -huh, but too uh -huh. much salt, it's a little overwhelming. Right. Think of that when you're thinking about cocktails and bitters. That makes right. sense. Yeah. Well, how are they made in the first place? Well, they're really just a flavor infusion. So there's different ingredients, of course. Sure. Um, and they get infused into a, a, a high proof alcohol. Okay. And you let them sit for a long time and you mix them up and then you strain them out and you filter all the particulate matter out and then this is what winds up in the bottle. Oh my gosh. Okay, well what is so unique about bitter and bitters? Well, a lot of a lot of bitters are literally bitter. <laughs> right, right, right. So you try and, if you take them in your mouth straight, it, it really causes you to they get that, that funny lemon face. Right, yeah. <laughs> you make a funny face. Um, these bitters are have that same intensity, mm -hmm. but with heat. Okay. With Ooh. chili heat, yeah. So that's amazing. Okay. You're gonna like the flavor. But the I always, spicy. I always feel like the bitters. When I hear bitters, remember I said to you that that it cure helps when you're nauseous or you're not feeling well. Why is that? Well, historically, bitters were uh, a medicinal thing, mm -hmm. okay. and then during Prohibition, people would sort of use them as an excuse to get their alcohol in a medicinal context. That makes sense. Right. <laughs> a little so. validity to it. But you have a lot of flavors. Let's talk about some of those flavors. You got some flavor, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, like, as Natalie said, they're all based on culinary flavors. Okay. So they have, um, there's a, a Mexican mole, there's a barbecue. Um, there's a, jer a jerk, a Thai, a Moroccan. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're really cool. They, they bring so much extra sort of depth, flavor, playfulness to c classic cocktails that we might already be making with bitters. Sure. That's what I think is so much fun about, about Bitter End. And you have the new flavors. Too, oh yeah, well right I do out. have two new flavors that I brought with me today. Okay. Um, so there's a curry. Okay. And a Chesapeake Bay, which is kind of like a Old Bay seasoning. Wow! So would you pair these kind of would you pair these bitters in your drinks with the food that kind of goes with it? Like, would you have Indian food with something that has curry? Because there's a lot of curry in Indian food. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, pairing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. capacity for for the bitters just because of their the spices are so um, immediately evocative. Right. In, right. In it's a great that that you, you picked up on something really really important mm -hmm. because people are doing more cocktail pairings and spirit pairings with yeah. food. So you're right, you're right on target with that. It's interesting yeah. though. Okay, so what kind of spirits do they work well with? Let's talk about that. Well, it depends on which flavors you work with. And, okay. and it's not as hard to, to pair the bitters with the spirits as you might think. Okay. Things like the Thai. Thai flavors, you can kind of get, uh, well, there's a lot of lemongrass and, sure. and that kind of flavor. So that works well with lighter spirits, mm -hmm. rums and tequilas and gin. And gin. Okay. Um, you know, the, the herb notes and everything like that kind of works well together. The barbecue and the mole give you a little bit of a, a richness okay. idea. So those work better with brown spirits. That's so interesting. I love that. Okay, so let's make some cocktails today. Let's make it happen. What, what will you do for us today so we can get Well, we're going to be making a, a Manhattan cocktail. Ooh, a Manhattan. I love that. Classic cocktail. You have to say it like that. Manhattan. 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 <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, this is a classic. So where do we begin? Well, and, and explain what we're doing. Actually, we're doing Manhattan two ways. Oh, okay. So, what we're, so Bill and I are going to make Manhattan side by side. All right. He's going to use the curry bitters, I'm going to use the Mexican mole bitters, Fun. and then you are going to taste the difference that those bitters bring to the same drink. So cool. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's jump right in. So what are you starting with? A little so, whiskey? So we're doing a classic uh, Manhattan, which is two parts 
spirit with one part sweet vermouth. Nowadays, people tend to use less sweet vermouth. Vermouth. Um, but, you know, vermouth is really integral to... Uh, I just bought vermouth. <gasps> well, see, you're so trendy. Keep it in the fridge. Honey. It's recommended. Yes, keep your, your vermouth in the fridge. That is a very good In the one. fridge? Yeah, keep uh -oh. your vermouth. It's it, wine. It's a fortified wine. Uh -oh. So you want to make sure it's uh, in the fridge. Okay. All right, so now we've uh, put... Two ounces of the of the bourbon, okay. an ounce of sweet vermouth, mm -hmm. and then now the next really important ingredient is the bitters. The bitters. So I'm using the Mexican mole. Smell this. It's spicy. Oh. It's chocolatey. Now so I personally I love bitter, so I'm gonna put like a half a too. dropper. Okay. Let me see. That's a oh curry. Oh my gosh! It smells like a good restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank really you very does. much. That's amazing. All right, let me get some ice too. Sorry. Yeah, it's applied in quite the medicinal sort of way, so you almost feel like you're treating yourself health-wise. <laughs> if you like that, do you like that? Just <laughs> exactly. I couldn't agree more. Now, you might notice that we are stirring the Manhattans. Mm -hmm. Manhattan is a classic cocktail that's meant to be stirred. Oh, Basic okay. rule of thumb between stirring and shaking uh -huh. is that if it's all spirits, right. stir. If there's lemon juice or fruit or cream or other things, shake. Oh. So that, that's one rule of thumb in classic that's mixology. A good one. Yeah. See, I learn something from you every day now. <laughs> that's a good one. So like if you were making something with soda or cranberry juice, you would shake it. Yeah, it's yeah. all alcohol, you want to stir. There you go. Yeah, anything with fruit, shake, anything with okay, that. Now, oh, just, do I see some cherries? Here, you want me to strain? I'll strain this for you. Oh, know. So we're teamwork. I love teamwork bartending. I love teamwork. All right. Now tell tell Nikki about those cherries. Oh, okay. I love maraschino well, cherries. I love them. It's it's so easy to make these at home. Okay. Actually, that, let, let's taste these really quickly before we run out of time because I think that okay. we're getting short on time and then we'll tell her. But, All right, but then. Bill cured those cheer, those cherries at home. You did so, at home? Yeah, yeah, it's so easy. Okay, cheers to you. This He's is the amazing. one with the cheers. Mexican mole. Yeah. Here, yep. I feel like you should I have the first. first. Oh, thanks. I like guest of honor. One, two, three. And then taste the other, and then you have to switch and see the difference. Ooh, ooh, that's really good. It's very <laughs> rich. Okay, mm -hmm. swap it. We're all healthy, right? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. you know, last time I checked. Yeah, <laughs> I had vitamin C. <laughs> so that's, oh so my gosh. Do you, do you see the difference? Yes, I do. And it's very subtle. It's a very subtle difference. You still, it, it still tastes like a Manhattan. But you get a little bit of the heat different. in the back of your mouth yeah. from the bitters, but not too much. I love it. I love it. And we'll have a little more when we come back. In the meantime, yeah. how can viewers contact you? At my website at bitterendbitters.com. Fantastic. And we'll be back for the bitter end of New Mexico style. Don't go away. We'll just, yay! It's madness around here. We're back in the kitchen, of course, with my co-host and the liquid muse, Natalie Bovis, joined by Bill York, who is the owner of Bitter and Bitters and has made us some fantastic cocktails today. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And these cherries are unbelievable. Best cherries I've ever had. Oh, thanks. Really unbelievable, and I'm a big fan. And I, I want to make sure that we thank all of today's guests so much for being with us. We learned so much today. I felt like we learned a lot, didn't yes, we? Yes, yes. an educational show. <laughs> and tomorrow on New Mexico Style, we'll tell you how you can win a romantic weekend for you and your Valentine. We're also cooking with Hotel Andalus, and you'll get a chance to meet our pet of the week. Aww. Isn't that great? <laughs> and you know, it's been great because all of our pets of the week, most of them for the most part, I guess, have been getting adopted right after the show. That's so, so isn't cool. that cool? Yes. I want a little dog. Okay, I'm watch the show tomorrow. On, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Bill, for joining us. You're welcome, Nikki. And Natalie, thanks again for being a great co host. Thanks for having me. And, and so much fun. And remember, of course, if you are going to drink, please do drink responsibly. Thank you so much for joining us. If there's anything you need to know about today and every show, Log on to our website at casa.com and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow on New Mexico Style and tonight, American Idol Part 2 Audition. <laughs> Don't miss it. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, cheers.